Hello, I'm Virginia Heath and I'm the director of From Scotland With Love. And first of all, thanks very much for screening the film and asking me to chat a little bit about it. Uh, From Scotland With Love was commissioned in 2014 at a really uh, important time for Scotland. We had the Commonwealth Games and it was also, of course, the Indie Ref year. So it was a time when everyone was really thinking about what it means to be Scottish. And uh, I felt really honoured to be asked to direct the film at that point. And uh, we decided that we would make an archive film which had no narration and was just carried by the visual strength of the images uh, in, in, in conjunction with music. And of course this meant that I needed to find the absolute right composer to collaborate with who would complement the music because obviously we needed to carry the story of uh, Scotland in the 20th century just through music and visuals. I was really lucky to persuade King Creosote to come on board because I really admired the way in which he told stories in his songs. Not obvious stories, but sort of oblique stories. And I felt like he would have the right kind of approach to complementing the visuals, not actually describing what you see on screen, but doing something that was kind of oblique to what we see. And it worked perfectly. I think I'm really thrilled with the way the music turned out. It's kind of, it works with the images hand in glove. So in trying to decide how to approach the film, I decided I'd take a thematic approach rather than a sort of geographical approach or a chronological approach, because I thought it would be nice to um, be have the freedom to just think about the big themes of 20th century Scotland. So I had an overall theme of love and loss. And then within that, we had the big themes of industry, work and play, uh, immigration, the war. And in all those themes, I really tried to bring out uh, marginalized voices. I really looked for material that would show women working and playing and really emphasise their important contribution to Scotland in the 20th century. Uh, we also looked for any material um, of uh, ethnic minority communities, which was actually quite hard to find, unfortunately, um, and shows there's a big job to be done to find that kind of material. I think that our overall ambition was that we would make a film that would be very much about ordinary people's lives. So there's no celebrities, there's no kings, queens, politicians. It really is the experience of ordinary people going about their lives. And I think that's why it's connected with people in such a profound way, because I think they see themselves reflected on screen and there's a kind of um, celebration of, of the ordinary fabric of life, which perhaps you don't see so much about in historical documentaries. I'm from New Zealand, so I'm not Scottish, and so it was a big um, ask to take on <laughs> making a film about Scotland uh, that was so quintessential at that time. But my grandmother's Scottish, and I grew up in a very Scottish environment in New Zealand, uh, so I was no stranger to stories about emigration and land life back in the in the homeland, if you like. Um, so. I feel like I had a real connection there, but also I was working with a whole team of brilliant Scottish uh, artists of very, various kinds. King Creosote himself, of course, but also um, David McCauley, who was the music supervisor and sound designer. Colin Mooney, who's a, one of Scotland's top editors, if not the top editor, and he's brilliant. Uh, knowledge of Scottish history and he always set me right. If I was putting an image in the wrong wrong place, he'd kind of, he was, he was a great guide uh, on that front. And huge support on the music front from uh, Chemical Underground Studios. I had plenty of people around me to, um, to support my vision of Scotland in the 20th century. Right now, in COVID-19, I'm working on a, a new project using archive, but also specially shot material about a wonderfully inspirational woman 
And that sort of continues my commitment to telling the stories of women on screen. Uh, that'll be coming up probably next year, and I'm very excited about it. So thanks again, and enjoy the film.